I'm going to show tracing out a video camera for a tight fit in a storage case. I'm using the high accuracy drawing board, the 24 by 36 inch. Shown here, I'm using Logitrace 2018 and I'm selecting tracing polylines. I have set up a projector which is 90 degrees to the drawing table and it's about 6 feet over the drawing table to project the light onto the video camera. You need a strong light source and you need that light source to be 90 degrees to the object to get a perfect shadow all the way around. You also have to physically move to get the back side of the camera and not block off the light. The shadow trace is a very simple way to trace out the profile of an object. Also if you make a mistake just go to the edit command, toggle to that area, delete it and retrace. Very simple. I'm also showing a couple of different video views showing how I traced it around the different sides of the camera. One change I did make, I used a piece of white paper under the camera instead of just the drawing board surface. I found the pen slipped along better on the paper. Once I finish the tracing, I save this file as a DXF file. I'm going to load this file into Vectric Aspire 11.0, check the vector quality, and if there's any node editing required, I'll make those changes. Shown here, the file looks good, so we're ready to load the file into the laser. I'll be cutting this profile from 2 inch foam. Here the file is loaded into the laser software, and I'm starting the cut. I will be cutting two of these pieces because I want the foam around the camera to be four inches thick. The laser cuts the foam very quickly and at low power and high speed. These are the two pieces I've cut and I'll glue them to each other. Shown here, I've got the foam in the storage case, both pieces, and I've got the camera fitted. It's a perfect tight fit. That camera is not going to move.